Hello world, it's your girl, I am Breezy. We are back with Independent Tuesdays on Rep98.com. For those of you guys who do not know what Independent Tuesdays is, what we do is dedicate this day to the entrepreneurs and the indie culture, giving them the opportunity to express themselves and tell you guys who they are and what they do. So this is what this platform is all about. And today we're going to kick it off with one of our entrepreneurs. Yes, thank you for having me. Of course. So go ahead and introduce yourself and okay. tell us what it is that you do. Cool. So my name is Risha Jack, and I'm actually a therapist, or what some people call a counselor. Okay. Um, that's pretty much what I do. I help people deal with some things, get to being the better version of themselves that they want to be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what inspired you to get into that field? Because I would, one would assume that, yeah. that that's a lot to take on other people's burdens and, and try and help them reflect on those things. Well... I am a therapist. I've always been. I've always been the one that um, people come to to kind of talk, to vent, to, to ask questions. And I've always been very curious about what makes a person do what they do. Okay. Um, without judgment, without, you know, saying it's right or wrong, but just understanding people has been my strong point. And I know a lot of people that need understanding. Yeah there's, yeah, there's a lot of us out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about how you got started. Like, what are okay. some of the steps or things that you had to achieve or check off your box before you got to the point that you are today? Okay, well, um, first there's school and lots of it. So <laughs> I um, got my master's degree in um, clinical mental health counseling. So that, okay. that's kind of step one. Um, internship, all that good stuff. And my first job was um, being a therapist in an intensive outpatient practice. And so um, when I left there last November, I had become the director of the IOP program. Wow. Yeah. So it was time for a change. And um, I wanted to step out on my own, something okay. I was very afraid to do. Um, but it was time to kind of have a little bit more control a little right. bit more autonomy. Um, also not working for someone else, but being able to really reach our community Absolutely. in ways that we need to be reached, which is completely different from the way that the um, majority Eurocentric population needs to be reached. And so right. just having a heart for our people, I wanted to get out there and affect some change in okay. different ways so what is some advice that you can give some of our upcoming generation who are looking to get into that field um don't be discouraged don't be afraid um if you have a desire to want to do this then you are uniquely and um specifically designed to do this so don't rob the world of you wow um go to school read um look online youtube is an invaluable resource and kind of get some pictures of what it looks like to actually do this to YouTube hear from people university. who are doing it <laughs> yes youtube university <laughs> and then don't be afraid to to try because if you don't like it if it doesn't work you can always the good thing about my field you can find another population i don't like working with grown people i want to work with kids i don't right. like working with kids um i want to do something else there's music therapy. Wow. There's art therapy. And black people in particular, us being very expressive people, um, there's a way to use that expression as art cause, right. and, and as therapy because that's what rap is. It's therapy. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we have a question. Yes, sir. Um, so what is your focus? What, what, what population do you focus on in your practice? In my practice, I deal with adults mostly. Um, I will see teens, maybe as young as 14, if they're ready to work, if they want to do that. Um, but I primarily see adults, um, mostly people who are dealing with identity issues. Um, and I, by identity, I mean, I don't know who I am. I'm in this part of my life where I'm trying to be something that I hadn't seen before, which is right. a strong man uh, or a vulnerable man, a father, a mother. Um, I want to be an entrepreneur, but I'm scared. Right. Um, and I'm really struggling to find out how to be these things I want to be in a way that's authentic to me and not the way that other people want to see this done. And those are the people I really enjoy dealing with. 
like dealing a lot with our um, first responders because they see a lot of trauma and yeah. they need somebody. So I really like dealing with them. Um, but my passion in my heart is to at some point be able to give back to our youth um, to deal with some of them who have identity crises, yeah. um, believing that they can only be certain things, but just being able to help them learn how to take those skills and qualities and transfer them to other areas that are that are healthier and more lucrative for them in the long run. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. We got another question yeah. out in the audience. Uh, are you familiar with uh, the ACEs, the Adverse mm-hmm. Childhood Experiences? Yes. And what is your uh, standpoint on that? So the ACEs... Um, study the questionnaire which I use with everybody that I see actually Um, it just helps to give us a snapshot of where you're coming from because what it is is adverse childhood experiences like you said and people who experience more of those um, as opposed to less of them they actually typically have some other issues that they struggle with and it just gives us kind of a heads up that hey these are some things you may want to look at too. Um, I think right. it's very um, valid. I think that it is um, a true assessment of what we're likely to see because so much dysfunction um, or those things that are presenting as barriers to being the you you want to be came from childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely agree. Well, that was awesome. Um, If you can, tell the people where we can contact you and Mm -hmm. follow you on all social medias. Yes, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at rjack, so that's R-J-A-C-K-L-P-C. You can go to my website, which is www.rishajacklpc.com. I'm going to spell that name for you. (laughs) It's R-E-I-S-H-A-J-A-C-K lpc.com and um phone number 901-949-3602 so find me follow me yes make sure you guys definitely reach out um i think i think that's something great especially if you're trying to reach out to the youth i feel like we need that Mm -hmm. um we don't get to see a lot of them finding themselves as you said um so i think that's definitely very important so if i could mention I do have a new project that I'm working on. Um, So I have a partner, and she is a certified um, sexual and intimacy health coach. And so we have intersected um, in a place where she finds, if she's working with someone and they have trauma or other things that they can't move past in the coaching realm, then she has to refer them for counseling to kind of work on that real stuff. Um, And we found through our work that, there's a lot of, um, in our community, miseducation, misunderstanding that's leading to a whole lot of dysfunction. So we have a new project called Project Free. And in Project Free, we want to help individuals, men and women, because the response from the black men, let me give them a, a big ups right now, because right. black men are doing it now by addressing their um, emotions and things. Um, but basically what Free is, is we want to help them to forget the things that they were taught that are harmful, that stuff that's not true, the the things that were taught to them as a tool of manipulation and control. Right. Forget it. Then we want to redefine what do these things mean to you in your life? Um, what do you want to be? Let's let you define things. And we want to do that through education. So we want to educate them on what's healthy, what's not healthy. Um, what do we want versus what we don't want. Um, We want to empower them to use their education and to make those changes to be that new person that they want to be and then encourage them to get out there and do it. And when you do your thing, when you are walking in who you are, that gives other people encouragement to do the same thing just by seeing you do it. So that's a project that we're working on too. So I'm excited about that. That's amazing. That's dope. Thank you. That's really, really dope. Well, we thank you for coming out. We look forward to you. You guys, make sure you go follow her on all social medias. They'll be down below. Comment, subscribe, like, share, and let's keep it rolling. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys.